Okay, the last phase, phase four attacking, everyone's favorite thing. So basically, for an attack, you're gonna look at the number of attacks. So in this case, this guy's got six attacks. And it's really, really so fun and simple. So basically, when you're attacking, you're gonna roll X amount of D20s and you're gonna add your modifier. It's the same thing as spells. You know, spell modifiers for spells, CC is for close combat, aim is for shooting, and you gotta beat their eighth C, okay? Ties always go to the defender. That's the that's the rule. Then you get to roll damage for however many D20s went through, you convert them to D6s, and then you add your other modifier. It's either gonna be strength or fire. Then it applies for damage. Now you're adding your modifier to each dice as well, okay? So for example, let's say he rolls this. And then he wants to beat a guy with the AC of three or whatever, okay? So he's gonna add his modifier to all of his rolls. His CC is a plus seven. So he's gonna add seven to each one of these rolls. Then he's gonna go ahead and grab his dice. Any 20s allow you to get another D6, by the way. Then you roll all these D6s, and then you're gonna go ahead and add them all together and then you're going to add the strength modifier. So in this case, it's our, it's seven dice. You add all these numbers together, and then you, and then you go seven times whatever my modifier is. Okay, so in his scenario, it's a five. So five times seven, in addition to this right here, will be the total grand damage. Okay. Now, obviously, it's not always like that brutal. Because the thing is that, you know, you're comparing the your AC, the AC, which is the, their defense, to your modifier, okay? And the, the fastest way to do this is you go, let's say you're trying to hit a target of 15, okay? I'm going to take this guy Typhus here, and we're going to take Ben Gorgon, okay? So Typhus is an AC of 15, Ben has a CC of plus 7. So 15 minus 7, right? 14, 13, 12, 11, uh, 10, 9, 8, and then add 1 to 9. So he need, he needs 9s or better to, to beat his armor, okay? So literally, so 3 fails, okay? Now the defender gets to roll. They roll however many um, successes you get, okay? So basically, you pair up high to high, low to low, okay? So defender rolled a 20. Okay, so when an attacker rolls a 20, you add a d6. When defender rolls a 20, you block two dice of your choice as a defender, okay? Now let's just say that this was a, let's say it was a different number, okay? So basically, now what you're going to do is you're going to compare and contrast against each other, okay? So Ben gets a plus 7. Now this is close combat. That means Typhi gets a plus 3, okay? If it was a shooting match, he would get plus zero. Okay? If it's a spell matchup, he gets a plus five. You kind of see where I'm going. Every modifier influences different scenarios because you're doing different types of battles. Okay? So inherently, Ben has a plus four over Typhus. Okay? So basically, all of this is plus four over. Now, if it if it gets too confusing and you're and you're and you're and you're struggling with how much plus am I getting, how much negative is because there are modifiers that can happen all over the place. You have a nice nifty blank white card that you can write stuff down on. So like you could go, I get a plus seven to my roll. Gotta beat, you know, I gotta get a I gotta get an eight. Sorry, this is really hard to draw on camera. Okay, and then I'm going to times five, whatever I get. Okay, you can also use this to write down his HP as well, too. You can also tell him, you can also, so everyone on this map has a certain color or symbol. So the easy way to remember who he is, you can give him like a number. Oh, this is really hard to do. Number and a color or icon. Okay. Whatever you need to do, there's a dry erase paper that you can use inside every game that's blank white one. You can write notes as you go. 
you know, a plus seven, whatever you need to do, okay? That way you don't have to keep referencing and keep asking or whatever you need to do. You can keep notes of who you're hitting, yada, yada, yada. So in this scenario, he got, he let's say he got, yep, he got three to go through. So he converts these to, D, to D6s. Then you're going to roll, okay? And then you're going to do, so this would be 10, 12, plus 15, so that's 27 damage, okay? And then as a defender, you can use the count 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 up dice if you want, or you can just write it down. You would say take 27, okay? Then that's it for combat. Now, every time you attack, so you if if you want to be stealthy in this game, you can be, okay? Cuz every time you attack, you're a, you're you have the possibility to have your no, your location figured out, okay? So what you do is when you attack, everyone has this option. Everyone's going to do it. You get to do a, like, you can try to do a uh, stealthy attack, okay? So you roll a d20, and you add this to your STL, your stealth, okay? That's how sneaky you are when you attack. So, you know, you have to score a 20, a 4 plus a 7 is not going to be enough. But if you got higher up, that means when he's attacking... Typhus here wouldn't know where that attack came from, okay? So you gotta keep that in mind. Sometimes there's abilities um, that also negate revealing yourself, like his ability, you know, don't reveal your location. That's an ability he has that he can just automatically do so he doesn't have to show himself. So there's like, you, you kind of catch my drift. Every time you're dealing damage, you're gonna have the possibility of showing where you're at. But you can be stealthy about it. You don't have to attack. You can move around the board, get in position, and then unleash hell. It's all about how you want to do it. And then, you know, searching will also supplement finding the opponent faster. Um, I think that... Oh, um, sometimes you will gain support from your friends. Okay? So basically... If Typhus is being attacked, you have a friend nearby. This, remember, this you have to be on the same board to get support. Okay, then in this scenario, he's Ben's gonna get a plus three to hit because he's got a friend nearby, and he's gonna get a plus D6 for damage. Okay, but if he was attacking stealthily, he wouldn't get a plus three. The unique thing about the towers is that the towers always will use the same modifier as the one that is attacking them. So they're always pretty sturdy, AC of 13, HP of 70. So whatever your opponent rolls, you you basically don't even have to go to the math of plus seven or whatever, it just goes straight, in, straight into matching up. Towers are hidden at the beginning of the game and you can search for them as well. I think that covers all attacking. Now defending, we already covered that because that's rolling your defense dice. The last thing I need to let you know is once you're going through the phases, you can't go backwards. So once you decide to roll an attack dice, you can't go back into moving or senses. Okay?